right now on the debate uh, with us uh, is uh, Dr. Samit Patra continues with us. We have Dr. P. Raghuram, President of the Association of Surgeons of India from Hyderabad, Dr. Sudhir Bhandari, Principal and Controller of SMS Hospital in Jaipur, and Prof. Shashank Joshi continues with us from Mumbai. First, I want to get the government point of view. Dr. Samit Patra, what is the likelihood that the lockdown will be extended? Fair enough. Let me ask you this, Dr. Raghuram. What has been achieved in the last few days of the lockdown now that we just have seven days of it left? Where are we on flattening the curve? Thank you for having me on your show. Uh, I think uh, the basic point that we should understand is the cases that we are seeing during the lockdown period are those that were diagnosed before the announcement of the lockdown. The incubation period of COVID-19 is about 14 days and we're just about into the 14 days. So the cases that have been diagnosed during this period are not a reflection of the lockdown as such until now. But I think in the next few days, four or five days will be very crucial in that the number of cases will be closely monitored by the government and the decision whether or not we should extend the lockdown will be taken in probably about four days time, four or five days time. Uh, as Dr. Samit Patra has said, that the panel of experts in the government will decide that. But actually speaking... I'm asking you, sir, from the data that you have seen specifically, say, in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, do you think that the increase has been arrested? Are we any close to flattening the curve? The Telangana and Andhra Pradesh have been doing well up until this Nizamuddin issue came up, which complicated the matter. And as you can see, across the country, there has been a 28 to 30% increase in the number of cases. And Telangana has borne the brunt uh, of it, and our chief minister was one of the first chief ministers who has come on board to say that the lockdown must be extended. And uh, there are two options. Where one of two things can happen. One is the number of cases continue to increase, and in which case the lockdown will certainly uh, be extended. But if the number of cases comes down, which means that the lockdown mm. has been effective, in that scenario, perhaps the government will have will take the option of doing a selective lockdown in hotspots, uh, particularly in states like Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Maharashtra, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, where a lot of cases are being seen. And in other places, perhaps there could be a graded uh, okay. know, lifting of the lockdown, but with a lot of restrictions. Okay, where do you, where do you, where do you see India right now, Professor Raghura, uh, Dr. Raghuram? Are we in the acceleration phase? Are we in the stabilizing phase? or are we still trying to find our feet? We were in the stabilizing phase until the Nizamuddin issue came up. And uh, they, since then, the cases have been significantly increasing. I, I'd like to emphasize that alongside the lockdown, we must ensure that we increase the number of testing which is being done. With the government, the ICMR has rapidly, you know, they have introduced the rapid antibody test and uh, about uh, 10,000 tests were done, you know, today and uh, I think about 1 lakh, 5 lakh kits have been ordered and seven companies have received import licenses and 100 crores has been pledged on this. So I am very hopeful mm. that the antibody test which will be done in clusters, particularly in patients uh, who have influenza-like illnesses and also asymptomatic people will help to detect those who are really sick, isolate them, treat them in addition to diligently tracing the contact and also this gives an opportunity for the government to understand the prevalence in that community. Say there is a hot spot and this rapid antibody test is done, we will get the answers to these feelings. In addition to this, this is the time to buttress our very fragile healthcare system and to ensure that the personal protection equipment is available for the healthcare professionals particularly in states where there is a desperate need, when there is a large increase in number of cases, for example, in Telangana, the government, must, uh, government of India must consider providing uh, in excess. As the president of the Association of Surgeons of India, we have been able to mobilize resources from across the country and raise nearly a crore of rupees to ensure that we provide the much-needed personal protection equipment for our healthcare professionals in every state. And rather than uh, giving it here and there, what we have done is we have instructed the manufacturer to directly supply the, uh, the uh, PCE to our representatives in every state and our representatives would okay. in turn can, uh, go and give it to the healthcare workers. So we need to strengthen the healthcare system. We need to do more testing during this lockdown period.